PregameStuff.com. We have the Oakland Raiders already in must-win mode on CBS Thursday night. This is Brad Powers in pregame.com studios just off the Vegas trip. Got a solid matchup for you in the AFC West. We have Kansas City at Oakland. And Fez, you've been down on the Raiders all year long. Do you dare back them this week? First time all year. I'm on the Raiders here, and it's all about maximum motivation for Oakland. Their season started out well. They go 2-0. and They start talking about how they're going to win 12 games again. And then here comes the four-game losing streak. Two and four teams in the NFL, similar to one and three teams. The season is slipping away. They're starting to stare at the abyss. It's put up or shut up. Cannot lose one more game here. Now, why is Oakland so down? Because they had some expectations coming into the year, at least a playoff caliber type of team. Something specifically offense, defense, what's up with them? We knew their defense was not good last year, and it hasn't been good this year. But that was expected. It's right about where we thought it would be. It's the offense. Running the ball. Lynch has been a disappointment. Less than four yards per carry. They're supposed to have the two elite wide receivers. Well, Crabtree's been fine. Cooper has been a complete no-show for this team. That is really hurting them as well. Let's talk to their quarterback, Derek Carr. Last week came back from a back injury. Was that maybe one game or two games too soon? Quite possibly. And, and the narrative is, well... Carr's been out one game. Well, I could argue Carr has really been out three games here. I'm not going to say they would have beaten Denver, but they could have beaten Denver if he didn't go out at the end of the first half. Obviously, he's out against Baltimore. They got no chance with Manuel, and then they rush him back against the Chargers. Looks like he was not ready in that game, and so each and every game after, you would expect the car will improve. Yeah, but this Fez, is only four days after last Sunday's game against the Chargers. Do you expect him to be significantly improved in just four days rest? Probably just slightly improved because he got banged up in the last game. But you know what? Home game for Oakland, then a Thursday home game. Very positive scheduling spot, something that Kansas City does not have this week. And speaking of scheduling spots, that leads you in your second key handicap. Yeah, really bad scheduling spot for Kansas City. Let's just talk about the emotion and the motivation of losing for the first time. Now, this is something wise guys do each and every year that they look for a team in any sport that reels off a really long win streak and you keep getting sky high. You want to keep that win streak going. When you hit, get that first loss, you get hit with it. Sometimes it can be difficult to go ahead and pull yourself back up to that maximum motivation. And, and not only the emotional toll of it, but it's the fact that they are coming off three big primetime games here the last three weeks. Absolutely. So they go to Arrowhead undefeated Monday night football. They beat Washington, uh, get the cover, the miracle cover with all the lat with the laterals and the fumble. Um, then they go ahead and they play Houston Sunday night football primetime with Watson and they're jacked up for that one. And then they have playoff revenge against the Pittsburgh Steelers. They don't win the game, but that was another game you could argue that they had circled. I can't think they came up a little flat in the Pittsburgh game. I think with the short week, they're going to come up a little flat here. All right. Like the pick. Let's make it official. Let's make it official. Oakland is in a must-win spot at 2-4. and four. We will get their very best effort. And Kansas City is in a bad road spot here on a short week off three straight big games. The Fez Mass says back the Raiders plus the three. More videos, pregame.com.